Another type of data source we can pull into a BI semantic model when we're using the tabular designer is Azure Data Market. Azure Data Market is essentially a web-based data service that can provide various kinds of data sets as data feeds. So let's just take a look at the, uh, the Azure Data Service and take a look at that. So I'm going to browse to uh, datamarket.azure.com. I already have subscribed to a few data sets. So I'm going to log into Data Market here and uh, take a look and see what I have. So if I go to my account and my data, I can see I've subscribed to three data sets here. The one I'm going to pull into my data model is this one. So I have the UN demographic statistics from the United Nations. So if I just click on that title and it tells me a little bit about what this data set is when it was added to the data market. And the first step of pulling it into my data model is to explore it a little bit. So if I run a query just on data series it tells me that this this data set actually is made up of several data sets. So I have a live births and so on. I'm just going to pull in uh, some data from this first set ID. So I'll click on values here. The data set ID is 1, put in the United States of America, and the sex code I happen to know on this data set that 0 is a combined male and female genders. So if I run that query, I can see that this looks like the data set I'm looking for. And then the key to getting it into the data model is clicking this develop button. So this gives me a URL that represents the query that I'm looking at right now. I'm going to leave out this last query parameter which says only select the top 100 rows. If I had more than 100 rows I would actually want to, to get them all. Now if I return to my Visual Studio project in data tools, I can see I have my model BIM file here with one dimension, the date dimension. And I'm going to add this data source to it from the data feed. So I'll click on import data source and the table import wizard. And this is looks a little slightly different from the Excel experience, but um, but it, you can do what, what I'm doing here in Excel as well. But if I scroll down to data feeds, I have a specific entry for Azure Data Market data set. I click next. And then all I need to do is paste in that URL and the other thing I need to do is paste in my account key. So this is the authorization that uh, that I use to access the data. I'm going to go ahead and tell the data source to save that. When I click next, it will just test it, make sure it works. Um, I'm going to use the service account on this one because my service key is pasted in here anyway. And I'll click next. Here's the source table. Uh, the friendly need name I'm not going to call data feed content I'll call this US population and then if I go to the preview and filter there's a there are many many columns here that I really don't need so uh, just like what we did with importing the SharePoint data source um, I'm going to turn off the things I don't need and bring in just the things I do so I have the year and really the population. So that's all I really need from here. There's my value. So just those two columns, that's all I want. I'll click OK, finish, wait for the import to happen. 73 rows, so there's only 73 years of data here. And now that my data import is complete, I can just continue to relate that into my model and use it from there.